and welcome to the new vlog today is a more of a home vlog i'm going to do oh my gosh i just knocked my new belt today i am going to make some sourdough bread for the first time and uh, because i've been doing my starter so this is one of the exciting things i want to get done today i'm wearing my outfit from um the hall should i go down Thank you. And let's apply scent of the day. So I've got a couple of perfumes for this week that I'm going to try. I think I'm going to wear Grisha Nail Extra from BDK today because I haven't actually worn it. Mati has worn it more than me, actually. So let's apply quite a lot of it. My goal is <laughs> this year to really overspray my fragrances a little bit if they're not too strong because I want to just really enjoy them. And this scent is so nice. It's got this Grey Chanel fig component. <gasps> is it the Nespresso capsules? Yay! <laughs> Let's do a little Nespresso haul <laughs> then. Oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, this is like fig and a bit smoky. Mm. Yay! The Nespresso shipping is so fast. I, you know, I ordered no, it. Last time it uh, was so fast as well. Yeah, I ordered it yesterday evening. Wow. And it came. That's crazy. Yeah. I got the two. You don't know what I ordered either. The two. Are, so these ones we liked. Like, they're just quite weak single shots. Okay. But then I got our favorite from last time, Hazelino Muffin, which is a very nice. It really uh, tastes like hazelnut. Caramel cookie, that's a new one. Mm -hmm. And vanilla custard pie. And all of these uh, are the big ones, the muffin ones, so we can share them. Okay. So what we've been doing, it's we've been doing like a, one coffee and then just drinking it both of us because it's uh, quite a lot of coffee, like those mug coffees. So we just split it, which is also think quite nice because we're at home a lot both of us because we work from home so we've got the single shots and so but I'm so excited I'm going to try it with you maybe the caramel cookie or the vanilla custard pie so so excited love it and the other perfumes I'm wearing this week is bouquet ideal of course magenta tanzanite wood symphony I wanted to say roses but it's in the same flacon uh, Chance of Tons because I missed it, Mask Therapy from Initio and Cree Chanel and this is Matty's side that he has put out so I put out more fragrances always because I just I like to just wear different ones all the time. Let's try to mix this dough and sourdough thing. Let's do it like this. A little Winnie the Pooh. I'm using just a random recipe of one day uh, sourdough bread. Let's hope that this recipe is good. So I'm using strong flour, my starter, which is all bubbly and disgusting. <laughs> one teaspoon of salt. I like more salt though, so I think I'm going to do one and a half. Yeah. 300 grams of white bread flour, one cup. Might be a bit too wet, I don't know, we'll see. But I'll leave it to rise for 30 minutes and then stretch it every half an hour for the next two hours. <laughs> it's quite a lot of work, but let's try and do it. I'm excited to see if it tastes great. But usually I do uh, little breads without the fermentation. But yeah, I'm going to see. I love sourdough bread. Uh, like with some um, avocado on it and stuff so hopefully this will work I hope so but we'll see you'll know today for sure also whilst I'm here I'm going to give you a little bit of an update um, on this room because I was talking to you about how this room um, the sofa uh, was getting picked up and it was being changed so now the living room looks a bit different so I'm going to share it with you so we've got the long mirror here and then we've got the new sofa that is this way and the lovely chair it has got this like airy vibe it's very easy to kind of walk around and 
I find myself wanting to be here more so we just put the blanket down for Moshi to lay on it but yeah it's just looking very very nice and then we've got these curtains which we bought them too long because we thought the other ones would be um, a bit too short but actually they would have been perfect so now I think I'm going to try to use this like little gluey sticky thing to make to take it up a little bit i think you can do it with an iron at least that's what i saw online so i'm going to try to take it up so they're not like laying on the floor so much which doesn't bother me too much but it would, <laughs> would be better if i could do it so i might try to do it actually with you and see what happens with that but yeah very excited to do the sourdough thing i'm very very excited and I love using uh, my Dutch oven from Le Creuset, which I think everything just looks so much prettier and makes me happy to do it in that Dutch oven. So I'm very excited for it to actually come out great, hopefully. If you've got any tips, let me know because I'm new to this bed baking thing. Let's try this new coffee from Nespresso. So wearing this. <laughs> Because, well, I'm going to do stretches every 30 minutes now. Which one should we do? Caramel cookie or vanilla custard? Cookie? Caramel cookie, please. Caramel cookie it is. Oh, I love the little color. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, this is going to go up. Let's do it. Let's do it in a big... There we go. Definitely malty and caramelly. I already had two coffees though, so you're gonna be I'll shaking. Be, yeah, I'll be shaking. And I wanted to go to the coffee shop with horses today, but oh wow! I think I'm not drinking coffee though. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> this you'll see in all of our vlogs probably because Moshi loves these uh, toilet rolls. <laughs> see. He loves them so much, he plays with them uh, and we've taught him not to eat it because usually like he ate it but we taught him not to eat it, he just like just runs with it and it's his favourite toy so I mean who can deny him uh, this cheap of a toy? We <laughs> get like, it! It's like his favourite. Yeah, it's his favourite. Yes. Yeah, do you work? Do you work? You've got Rolka. You've got Rolka. You love it. You love it. <laughs> yes, play. Play. <laughs> oh, it's the cupolo. Oh, that looks nice. Did you have milk in that jar before? No, no, it's just the froth. This is the. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it's, it uh, looks like it's. It looks like it's. Yeah, but it's. I like when the milk is like all fresh, but now it's been a couple of minutes. Oh, we have to do a taste test. There you go. You go ahead. Mmm, it's really nice. I can totally taste the cookiness. I really like it. It's more subtle than the hazelnut muffin one, which I like. Not very it's strong, a, which I like. Yeah, it's very like cereally. So it's very nice. A bit yeah. of like cin cinnamon or something in there as well. One of my New Year resolutions, if you've watched that video uh, on the channel, was actually to read uh, my Bible more often. And actually, my friend got me, like surprised me with a brand new Bible. This one is in English. Look how pretty it is. Because I usually um, read it in Polish. But I find myself there's more commentaries and more uh, just resources in English. So actually, I do prefer studying it in uh, English. So I'm just going to have a little bit of time read my new Bible. I just can't believe my friends just because we were talking about this and she was like, oh, that would be nice if you got like an English Bible and then the next week she brought me one. I was like, what the heck? So, so nice. So I'm going to take some time and just read it for a little bit with my delicious uh, coffee. This gets better and better. I really recommend it if you have an espresso ritual. Let's 
let's do another stretch actually I can hear that Marty is on the phone with insurance and I don't know what it is but with insurance it feels like they want to scam you literally every single second whatever you want to change whatever you want to do like you're on the phone with them for hours and it's like oh, I don't know if they're trained in this to like not give you an answer or say no to everything and then you ask them again and they say yes it's just like the gaslighting you throughout the whole conversation it's literally crazy it's so frustrating it like Matty literally wants to tell them that he's got like longer no claim history so it's actually good for us they should be like oh yeah we'll make it change like it's one button and uh that's it for some reason like it's taking hours and now they want him to pay for that change and the policy hasn't even started and he's been on the phone for an hour how <laughs> i just don't get it like let me know if that is only me or is that like the experience but let's do another stretch we're making the dough apparently stronger i wish that i could make myself stronger in that way just stretch stretch and fold it's becoming nice and stretchy <laughs> wow monica oh very nice stretch yay be stronger build that strength baby still very um very sticky but oh it smells delicious it's not rising really it's not it's still very flat but i folded and stretched and it's going back in the oven for a bit of a rising action I was just filming a TikTok and did a little outfit change. I love these trousers from Philippa K. They're so good quality. So I'm so happy that they fixed the hem and I can wear them with this cos, my new cos top from the, the cos hall in a jacket. This is kind of how the outfit is looking and I wore it with pink heels for the video. But yeah, love. Love this outfit and it feels springish because it's a bit warmer outside today but it's still quite cold but i wish i could wear this out it was so fun i love dressing up and i don't do it enough just because working from home like you i just don't have the motivation to actually dress myself uh fully so it's nice to do it and get some inspirations for when i'm actually going out and tri trial outfits <laughs> and another outfit i changed again just because i think we're going out and um, i want to shoot another look because i'm doing a bit more on instagram just sharing stuff that i love uh, i love fashion obviously and perfume so i want to combine the two and just you know share a bit more like here on this vlog so i'm wearing these uh Ana Luisa earrings and then acne sweater from i think it's alpaca it's very very warm my ms belt for bucket trousers that are very very long if you are a long a legged person Philip bucket is your person your brand for trousers because these are long look i'm 5'8 and they hit me right at the end of my leg there sometimes they drag a little bit if i'm wearing flats but i would rather this than have trousers that are far too short so i'm going to stretch the bread dough again and i think then it will leave it for two hours to rise but it's already looking very good so i'm excited to eat that bread this evening we are on our way so i dressed i showed you this outfit i did i forgot so i did one more stretch and then we're leaving the sourdough and now we're going to run some errands because actually we've got some stuff to put how do you call it like a, a, a landfill landfill i think it's called so we're putting some stuff there and also i've changed my bag to snow flake no snow white we call it śnieżka which is polish for snow white i think i think it is yeah snow white i've got my chanel snow white wearing the outfit and we're going to pop into boots because i've run out of powder and i've got quite a uh, oily combination skin so for filming or for everyday sometimes like 
by the end of the day I often look like an oil slick so I need some powder so we're going to go to Boots and hopefully find something we're going to Boots now no no okay. first to the landfill and then to Boots because it's quite close by and one more thing oh yeah and we've got some camera equipment that we wanted to maybe see if um, like a second-hand shop uh, with cameras wanted so we'll see if they want it because we are not using it and we couldn't sell it on eBay either, so let's just see if we can get some money out of it. Mati is just taking the little furniture piece to the landfill like recycling shop so somebody can I think they donate to charity shops and then somebody can get it but on the side note I am actually so in love with this bag just so in love I wear it so often people told me you know white you will never wear it you'll be so afraid of it didn't we want to give it away to a charity shop yeah oh yeah actually so keeping this yeah so we can do yeah a book and some earphones but with um this bag people told me no don't buy it you're not going to wear it i wear it more than my black one and actually i've been thinking that actually the black one i might want to sell i don't know it's i probably shouldn't let me know in the comments but i've got a black classic flap lambskin with gold hardware it's such a classic it was my first luxury bag but i feel like i would wear um a pink one more or i saw this hot pink one in caviar leather and um, gold hardware i think uh, and it was quite a good price at second hand shop and i thought i would wear that one so much more i'm so careful with the lambskin one and also because it's black i just feel like i don't know i thought i would wear it so much more but i wear this one all the time i love it so much so i'm thinking maybe i should think about it and maybe i should exchange it for another color because i love the style but hmm somebody actually ah, took like uh, a furniture piece straight away yeah he took it did he take it straight he away he took it because he took it because they can't accept it because it, was, okay. it didn't have this fire label Okay. and they are required by law no charity shop would accept it without this sticker on okay so he was like i'll take it <laughs> that's so good yeah <laughs> nice piece it was very nice it was like a shoe rack thing but we just wanted to get rid yeah, of it yeah it was very nice that's so cool <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. Mm -hmm. This gentleman just benefited from my very nice. Yeah. Are we going to Boots now? Yes, let's go. in the car <laughs> elf powder because i had good things so hopefully it will work and also i'm struggling a bit with breakout so i'm thinking it might be the moisturizer so i am trying a new one tolerain sensitive cream from la roche posay it's not that bad but i've told you guys before like i'm trying to note every single product that i'm changing and seeing how my skin reacts and it seems like the moisturizers are maybe not my view moisturizer or the cleanser but it takes ages to figure out so i have to be slow and patient to do it so and we just Mati really likes the new le parfum black, black, op black opium black opium from ysl i haven't smelt it before but it's very coffee heavy compared to the other uh, options i really like it actually at the beginning when i sprayed it i thought oh it's like actually the same uh, as other parfum but this is really nice, really deep, but not as projecting as Eau de Parfum, definitely. But really nice. I think it's my second favorite after Illicit Green because of that nutty chocolatiness. Mm. We're just reading your comments. We're just sitting in the car <laughs> reading your comments under the last vlog. And one comment is very insightful because uh, somebody says, I love ordinary days. When YouTubers ask what people want to see and the suggestion for ordinary days come up, they always say it's least watched, so no point in making them. 
which then perpetuates the idea that vloggers have way more interesting lives than the regular watcher. So it's very insightful because, yeah, I feel like what people often click on is the big titles of like moving house or and I'm guilty of this I love watching like big life changes mm. or somebody splurging on something huge and it's like marketing you have to market your vlog for people to actually want to see it mm. and uh, on the other hand you like when we vlog like it makes you want to do more stuff so then you're like making up stuff sometimes to do mm. that wouldn't be part of your normal day because you want your life to appear more interesting but then it's not always that like so many things are going on or sometimes there is a season that everything is going on but actually you know what i was um i was reading something on reddit that was really funny <laughs> that somebody couldn't get motivated to clean their house and they found that if they video themselves and pretend to be a vlogger <laughs> that they clean <laughs> So they did like a confession on Reddit, like, uh, I feel bad, but I pretend to be a vlogger and it actually helps my life to be more productive and clean because I, I talk to the camera, I clean and it actually motivates me to do stuff. Yeah. So that's true. When you video yourself doing your normal life, mm. it actually makes you want to do stuff and do stuff better and have a cleaner house because you're bringing camera in your house. Yeah. But I love cleaning anyway, so my house would be clean. But you know, like those little things. Mm. People are commenting about the car. Yes, yeah, so um, actually two of you said that you've got a Lexus, <laughs> which is kind of nice that, you know, it's the like, same car, yeah, the same car. Oh, yeah, one person has literally uh, a very which, similar car. Yeah, but some of you have Lexus. And uh, there is a lot of you from America, actually. Let me know in the comments where are you watching from, because uh, I think a lot of you are from America. So welcome, Americans. <laughs> I've actually only been to America once and I don't remember anything because I was five. And I was visiting New York with my parents. But I have little recollections of this delicious root beer that they gave me. And I love root beer to this day because I think they gave me a little bit just to for me to taste. And I do remember that. <laughs> so that was quite an impression that it left in my mind. Well, okay, before you said the name of the car, I was like, the interior looks very much like my car. It's a great vehicle. I think you're going to love it. Congratulations on your purchase. Thank you. That's so cool. And yeah, we love it. It's a very convenient little car. Why are you always saying little car? This is not a little it's car. It's huge, but... For Americans, it's not huge though. You have to... Uh, oh, I was yeah. thinking about it. For Americans, they have like a really big car. So for them, this is normal slash yeah. medium But here, car. for the roads, sometimes like we parked in a spot and the spot wasn't long enough for yeah, this Yeah, car. that's right, yes. It's this, <laughs> and this car is pretty long, mm -hmm. yeah, must say. Yeah. I think now we're going to go to get some birthday cards. Stock yep. up on birthday cards. That's our thing. And then we're going to go back and we're very hungry. So we're going to eat. So we're back home and this is supposed to be much bigger. It didn't really rise. Um, so I don't know what to do, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. Is it too wet? Maybe I'll add a bit of flour. I don't know. But I need to rescue it for an edible bread. So this is definitely not looking how it's supposed to. It's very sticky. But I think I'll just let it proof for a little bit and I'll bake it anyway. Um, but I don't... So my camera died, but I did bake this bread. <laughs> it's a disaster. This is the worst bread I have ever made, okay? So, a work in progress, but there we go. So sad, so flat, but so oh well. I mean, we will work on this, okay? I think what it is is that my starter might not be uh, strong enough so i'll feed it again for a couple of days and try it again and i might overnight also the dough so that it's better because that's how i've been doing it without the starter and it's been coming out amazing so this is really really sad but i bet it will taste quite good so we'll have it later this evening with <laughs> matching 
but I think you will laugh as well. This is bad. With bread, you spend so many hours <laughs> on it and then this is what comes out. So a bit disappointing, but I'm sure I'll get better. It just takes time. So it'll be okay, it'll be okay. So I'm having a little bit of a cozy time with my favorite candle from Creed. Look at how stunning this candle is. I love it so much. It smells absolutely gorgeous in the hall um, downstairs. And I'm having a bit of vanilla chai. And I'm sitting here with Mosino. Yes, hello. I'm sorry for waking you. I'm sorry, yes. It's all okay. It's all okay. Yeah. I'll say bye to you right here. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, because um, that's where I post a bit more, uh, more frequently. I'll see you very soon. Bye.